everybody and welcome back to Doctor Who Wendover today. Yes, as you might have seen in the thumbnail, yes, um, we have got a confirmation. Yes, things have been confirmed and things are more or less true. So yeah, let's just like get into the video. I'm well, the Doctor Who community, Doctor Who Whovians have realised that this mysterious letter is actually true, it's Doctor Who, so I'm so excited to tell you all this because this is going to be a very interesting video. I don't know about things about Loki Bluebird, we'll talk about that later, but it's just a very interesting video today, and well, yes, so let's just get into the video. Um, if you've seen my, one of my latest videos, you might have known, recognised this letter. If you haven't, you, the video is just up here. And you can watch it right now because maybe you want to hear more about it. And well, we know the name of the street and we know it's Doctor Who, it's Doctor Who. And the name of the street is Axminster Road, which is a normal street in London. So yeah, um, you can go there. Um, you can go there on the 3rd, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th of June. And the film is during the night, but it's so exciting because they're going to film this street during the night of those days. Um, so, very exciting. We're, we're going to have soldiers and action vehicles with lots of special effects, lots of stuff, filming during the night. And they, this is just a letter for the residents so they know in the night they're going to do some filming and they might not be able to sleep so they're going to do special effects and fire and lots of stuff so yeah that's very interesting but now let's i'm going to read an article um a very interesting article from tv zone okay so let's just start the tardis dematerializes from roadlock as, Do as doctor who relocates production so they're going to move to another place to film Doctor Who has officially left Roadblock Studios in Cardiff, which is this um, place here, and moved to production nearby Bad Wolf Studios. So what Doctor Who has done is left um, left um, the BBC Studios in Cardiff and is now going to go into filming Bad Wolf Studios. Let's carry on. For purpose-built sound, sound stages, all used for Doctor Who are now being sold for other productions overseen by BBC Studio Works. The studios range from 5.101 SQ feet and 12.318 SQ feet and include production offices, scene and prop storage and wardrobe makeup facilities. So what um, BBC is going to do because Doctor Who is going to be filmed in another place so all their props and everything which Doctor Who use like prop storage, production offices, makeup facilities they, they are going to sell it for another production, another BBC production so they can use it because now Doctor Who is going to go into film in Bad Wolf Studios so this is very interesting Doctor Who production will come from Bad Wolf Studios, also in Cardiff, it's in the same place, Cardiff, both of them, BBC Studios and Bad Wolf Studios. It comes after it was announced in September 2021 that BBC Studios has partnered, had partnered with Bad Wolf to produce the long-running sci-fi series going forward. The move comes as Russell T Davies, who originally ran the series from 2005 to 2010, is preparing to make an explosive return for the 60th anniversary in 2023. Responsible for Doctor Who's revival in 2005, Davies is credited with propelling the show into a global, pheno a global phenomenon and making it one of TV's biggest hits. So yeah, what? Russell T Davies has, wants to do is bring Doctor Who back with a bang, and yeah, that's how he does that. His tenure on the show oversaw a surge in popularity, enjoying huge acclaim and success. The Doctor won the nation's hearts through his masterful relaunch, which led him to create two spin-off series, Tortured and the Sarah Jane Adventures, during that time. So yeah, Russell T Davies was responsible of creating Torture and Sarah Jane Adventure, so I'm so excited to know what he's going to do for Series 14. Whilst the BBC has not yet confirmed when production on the new era will begin, when it will air, who will even plan the title role. 
It's widely reported that production will begin within the next month. The BBC declined to comment when approached by TV Zone. So this is all very interesting. Let's just carry on. Andrew Maltry, CEO, BBC BBC Studio Works said, "Growth lock marks another important step in our growth plans as we look." as we look to expand geographically and assesses opportunities across the entertainment industry. We hope our arrival in Cardiff will be the start of a long and success successful relationship, enabling us to significantly contrib contribute to the, con to the continued successes of this bright, vibrant and creative local sector. So, yeah, what you saying is just Let's just hope this is all success. So, yeah, let's just carry on. Alan Bainbridge, director of BBC Workplace, added, We're delighted to be working again with Studio Works, supporting sustainable productions in modern purpose, built facilities which are accessible to all and in a beautiful location with great transport links. So that's very good. Gareth Powell, COO at BBC Serum Wales, I can't, I don't understand Welsh very much, I'm sorry. Rothlock Studios has successfully produced Cashwell Tea, Pobble Ice Swim, <laughs> um, again Welsh, Doctor Who, plus other shows since it opened in 2011. 2011. In that time, Rothlock Studios has made a major and creative eco and, and economic contribution to create industries and been as a springboard for the for the now flourishing drama production sector across South Wales. He continued with production of Doc 2 now moving a short distance to Wolf Studios. We look forward to a continued flow of production business using these facilities overseen by BBC Studio. So this article is interesting. Speaking on this uh, on his announcement, Russell said at the time, Russell T Davies says I'm beyond excited to be back on my favourite show, Doctor Who's Great. Yep, yeah, Russell, great, Doctor Who's Great. But we're time travelling too fast. There's a whole series of Jodie Whittaker's brilliant Doctor for me to enjoy, with my friend and hero Chris Chibnall at the helm. I'm still a viewer for now. Doctor Who returns for a feature-length episode this autumn on BBC One. Further series or episodes will be confirmed in due course. So, yeah, what, R what RTD Russell T Davies is saying, he's just a few viewer for now. We've just got one more special from Chris Chibnall and then he'll leave with Jodie Whittaker and then we'll get series 14 in 2023, which is very exciting. So, yeah, Russell T Davies has got a whole link plan. Um, about the about the letter, we know where it's going to be in Exmenster Road. So excited because we're going to have lots of effects. You can go there if you want and tell me about it in the comments, and we can make a video a video about it in the future. So yeah, if you have a possibility, I think it's very good to go. It'd be great to, to see every uh, Doctor Who, but well, Bad Wolf Studios filming in Axminster Road, an ordinary street. And well, yes, that's all from me today. Well, we've been looking about Loki Bluebirds lately and the letter and all sorts of things. Even lots of um, Russell T Davies tweets him with a Dalek. And well, that's very interesting because we might get Daleks back. So interesting. Maybe Loki Bluebird um, lives in Axminster Road. Who knows? I don't know him. But yeah, because he's talking about if they're going to film near him. So he might live in Axminster Road, which is very interesting. And well, yeah, all this subject is very interesting. We're going to get the letter. All the Loki Bloober stuff, TV Zone, oh, it's just all packed because Doctor Who's coming back with a bang, coming back with a bang. Because the, lately, the rate, the ratings, the viewer ratings are not getting very good. Because even a repeated episode of a BBC programme, a repeated episode, has, um, um, is, has more viewers than Doctor Who Legend of the Sea Devils, because that's bad. Because if it's a repeated episode, it's not as good. So we need Doctor Who to get bigger 
viewing rates and that will just be perfect and yeah that will just sort Doctor Who out and yeah bring it back to normal like when Stephen Moffat and Russell T Davies were here but I don't know what's happened with Chibnall era wasn't so so great um, that's what people think but yeah we, we have to look in the future and see that Doctor Who will be back and renewed back to normal and well this is so exciting I'm so excited for the future of Doctor Who and when the 14th Doctor will be announced and all this film and everything and well until next time goodbye